Hey, good evening, y'all. Um, I've been keeping myself really busy today, uh, doing a lot of packing, um, going to work still. <laughs> I don't have a day off this week at all either. I've miraculously managed to just overschedule myself. Uh, not the first time, certainly won't be the last. Um, but I'm definitely wanting to do my Unis Honest video tonight, and this one I liked a lot. The Unisonis video that happened a year ago, a year and a day ago, I think, um, was Discovering the Secret to Eternal Life. And this was just like a fun um, video where the boys, I think, again, another easy computer one for them to do. Uh, they looked at all these different, like, I don't know if they, like, you know, went via Google or if they had any particular resources of kind of looking at, you know, what what gives people longevity? Like, what what are people's secrets to living for however long, you know, for, for um, nearly a hundred years or more? And uh, they, they looked into, so the science of it is um, what a lot of people think that aging, what happens with aging is... Um, the telomeres, I think it's like a, it's a bit on your DNA. Some people will describe it as, as if it were the end of a shoelace strand. It's kind of the bit to kind of cover to keep the DNA from just completely unraveling and um, just becoming a mess of, of, uh, <laughs> of code, basically. Um, so that over, whenever your DNA um, divides, it loses a little bit of that telomere, I think. Um, just, just that little base to cover it, and every time your DNA divides, it happens a lot as you age. So that's why, like, having, um, long-lasting telomeres or long telomeres or whatever kind of is, like, one thing that people think is the reason why people age. Um, I think there's something very interesting with lobsters. Their telomeres act a little differently, so some people, you know, have this kind of theory that lobsters are immortal. Um, I think for them it's kind of an energy conservation thing, uh, one way or the other, that they have to um, kind of choose. Is it worth shedding a skin and, like, losing all that energy? Or do we just die from growing inside of our shell kind of thing? Um, apparently that's the thing with lobsters. Uh, but also another thing I remember the boys talked about was um, they... Uh, they looked at this video of this, like, really old woman, and I want to say she was either, like, one of the oldest women that still lives, um, I think they were looking at, like, all the oldest people, like, throughout the, the world in different countries, you know, and it's interesting, like, I think a lot of the people that they picked, you know, are from, like, yeah, like, Japan, China, um, European countries, honestly, I, you know, I think it's maybe a little less common in the U.S. just because we have so much we expect from people and stuff, um, so they there were they found some video though of this like older woman that yeah it was like maybe a hundred hundred and ten years one of the oldest women that still live today or whatever one of the oldest people and um she kind of like talked about you know the invention of electricity she was around for that and she talked about how she would eat bread every day or whatever like or she would walk every day like she had like you know her her weird little secret to, to living for a very long time, apparently. Um, so I thought that was interesting. I thought it was really cool that those guys found that. And I think that also is like very important to know, to kind of take into account that what works for some people might not be what people like might think is the healthiest thing. Like this woman, you know, saying she ate bread every day, a lot of people will like demonize bread and stuff. And it's like, honestly, like, I like bread, so, like, I'm gonna eat bread. But, like, um, it's interesting, because I think, like, what works for one person might not work for everyone. Um, and I think I remember hearing from another friend that there was kind of, like, this interesting concept that some of the, like, oldest areas of, um, or some of the populations that have some of the older, some of the areas that have some of the most, like, greatest quantity of older populations or whatever like apparently a lot of like this sort of dietary habits of those areas would be kind of like a really balanced like not necessarily high protein which is like what a lot of people try to you know promote these days so i think it's good to have a balanced diet but honestly for me like i'm a big proponent of eat whatever the hell you want life is short so 
anyways, huge long tangent. Let me get back on track with this. Um, another thing that the guys talked about in their video was like cryo freezing. Um, like kind of like, you know, being uh, cryogenically frozen and then just kind of crossing your fingers and bedding and hoping they have the technology to revive you whenever, uh, you, yeah, whenever in the future, like, <laughs> so that's an interesting idea. Um, and yeah, they kind of talked all these other sorts of things. Uh, one of the videos they found though, um, like, I just, I like need a moment to just like really really appreciate this, um, part of Unus Honest. This was, like, uh, this was, like, one of those moments for me that, like, really made Unus Honest, that, like, that just, like, brought it home with, like, something that, like, what came, like, it was very funny, it was very charming, and it was also, like, very, like, personal and, like, made me feel good. Um, so they found this video that had, like, all these cute little animations and stuff, and they had this, like, this image of, like, this sort of cyborg, sort of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Android, um, sort of image. And this image had, like, <laughs> these, like, really thick thighs. And Ethan was like, oh my god, the thickness on those thighs is thick! Like, <laughs> and, like, something about that, though, like, was, like, I loved that. Because, like, he was, like, celebrating, like, the thickness of the thighs. And they were, like, saying, like, oh, maybe that's the secret to eternal life. And, like, I've kind of always grown up, like, feeling a certain way. I feel like I have pretty thick thighs. Um, and, again, I don't know if I have, like, just, like, a misperceived perception of what my body looks like. But I feel like I have, like, larger thighs than most. Or, for me, anyways, like, if I if I go to buy pants, like... It might fit my waist, but it might not fit my thighs as well. Like, it's, it's like, so tricky for me to buy clothing because it's, it's designed for, like, you know, a standard body type. But, like, I just have big thighs, so I like to wear, like, exercise pants and more elastic spandex sort of thing because, like, the pants are hard to design for, like, one body type. But anyways, that part in that Unisonis video, like, I think I watched that a couple of times. Even just that part, like, kind of just, you know kind of ignored the rest, but definitely watched that part, like, a couple of times, because, I don't know, something about it just, like, made me feel, like, really comfortable in my body, and so I really appreciate that, um, and, yeah, I just love that, I love, like, celebrating, like, just, uh, I don't know, things that, that really resonate with people. Anyways, I have some other stuff I really gotta focus on, I gotta get back to, get back to focus on on that, um, this might be the last time, too, that I'm, I'm kind of, shooting from this angle. I don't know when I'll be taking all my paintings down and stuff, but I do want to give a quick shout. Uh, those little Alice in Wonderland ones I got from a friend, and that one that's in the middle was actually painted by one of my uh, friends that I uh, worked at Starbucks with uh, a long time ago. So um, Chris Ryan um, painted that, and he's an incredible artist that lives in the area. And I have a couple of his other paintings, and uh, a couple of my friends, I think, have some of those paintings too. And he's just... Um, really good stuff, man. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, I just, my brain is, like, kind of everywhere. Um, but I'm just trying to get through this week. Uh, and I'm feeling, I guess, you know, a little unsteady, but, like, kind of optimistic and, and, and hoping for, um, brighter days ahead. So I'll see you guys in the next video.